Hello, Oz Dusoleil here with Datascopic, and I'm following up on a conversation about VLOOKUP, specifically where we use VLOOKUP with TRUE. I did a previous video showing how a lot of us were telling some crap about how the VLOOKUP with TRUE really worked, but I went through and showed how the binary search algorithm works that's how it works it, it doesn't go and really look for what's close and it's going to be illustrated here because when I teach workshops and we cover the lookups this issue of true false shows up right and the true means approximate match but what I'm saying is that no we can't think about it as approximate so okay let's do this equals V look up look up Bob where look up Bob here go over two steps and I'm going through this quickly because um, hopefully you're familiar with V look up if not you know I've got videos about that so anyway so we're gonna say false right okay so Bob here Pennsylvania here cool bill colorado great let's see let's double click uh, one thing i need to do is my absolute cell references so that this range doesn't move on me because watch this see this range is moving so that's why i've got to go back and do my f4 f4 Cool. Okay, double click now. All right. Because we're looking for an exact match, and was not found over here, right? We did find an A N N E, and this is just A N N. Okay, so we get this error message, meaning that we did not find and with no E. We did not find Lester, though less is there. All right, and so then a student will think, okay, let's use true because we want uh, approximate matches. All right, great, so let's do that. True, because we want approximate matches, and is approximately an, you know, okay. Less is approximately Lester. What happens now? Okay, all right, now we only have one that bombed out. Everybody else got something, all right. And winds up with Idaho. Dell, that's Andy. What's going on? All right, Dennis bombed out. There's Dennis in Florida. Okay, they look exact, except there is a space before this Dennis, right? See how my cursor is just moving back and forth? There's a space before that Dennis. And that bombed out. Why? Because space comes before Andy. And there is nothing before Andy. So Dennis bombed out. Even though you might expect that space Dennis is approximately Dennis. So let's get rid of that. Fix it. Okay, now we get Florida. Okay, what else do we have? Nancy winds up with Kentucky. Nan, Kentucky. Okay, <clears throat> we got lucky because Nancy is between Nan and Penny. And so VLOOKUP goes with Nan. All right, but that is pure luck. That is not uh, by design or how this should be going. All right, who else? Sue? Susan, okay, again, Sue is between Susan and Ricky. Jeff, Jeff is JT. Oh, now watch what happens here, Jeff is between Dennis 
and Jenny alphabetically. So Jeff winds up with Florida, according to VLOOKUP. So we can't really think of VLOOKUP with true as an approximate match. All right, so let's do the grades and we'll see how VLOOKUP is typically used. Equals VLOOKUP, look for the grade, comma, in this range, go over two steps and true. Uh, again, my absolute sale references. All right, so it's 84 and a half match with good. Yes. 63, the skunk the exam. Yep. 66, good enough. Yes, that all works. And that's how we should think about uh, VLOOKUP using TRUE. It's more for categories or tiers. It's not really approximate like we would think of AND with no E and AND with an E. All right. So play with it. Experiment. Check out the other video where I do go into great detail about the binary search algorithm. And that's it for today. Hope this clarifies some things and we can stop spreading nonsense about VLOOKUP. Take care and send questions. Please comment. Please subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot.